Welcome back to my channel. My name is Becca and today we're going to talk about everything my baby ate in a day. So this is Ari, which is short for Ariella, and she here is about seven and a half months old. And I'm serving this kind of Greek yogurt egg skillet, which has a mix of berries in it. And super easy to just grasp different things and get a lot of good flavors and work on that gut health with that yogurt. She absolutely loves it. If you haven't caught on already, we are practicing baby led weaning, which just means her primary source of nutrition and food is milk or formula, and then she decides what she wants to eat and is exposed to different foods uh, by picking them up and placing them in their mouth instead of having, a, you know, being spoon fed. It is definitely messy, um, but it actually has really a lot of benefits and she seems to appreciate it. Every time we've tried to spoon feed her, she really dislikes it. Today I'm also serving some grapes, which I have chosen to cut in half, and that just reduces the choking hazard. With any of these food and baby led weaning, you do need to keep an eye on her. It's meant to be a more family time type of practice of eating to really make sure it's safe and that she's eating similar foods that you are. If your baby is breastfed, they are being introduced to many foods through your breast milk. So to me, baby led weaning is just an extension of your breast milk in that you're sharing those foods that you eat yourself in moderation and maybe modified a little bit so that it's more of a finger food and more accessible to your baby and allowing them to learn how to chew and swallow properly. Baby led weaning allows your baby to really decide how much milk they still want versus how much food, solid food, they want to eat or partake of. Um, and then it gradually weans them off of the breast milk as their you know, primary source of nutrition, but it's all done by the baby. It's not us saying, no, no more breast milk. If they still want breast milk, you follow that path, follow their cues of how much they want of it and follow their cues of how much of your food they also want to eat. Since Ari has an older sibling, I do tend to notice that she wants to do a lot of the things her older sister is doing. So this even comes down to food. So if she sees her sister eating something, she definitely wants to eat what she's eating. And her older sister likes to share with her as well, which I have to be super careful about because sometimes she'll give her something that she really cannot have yet that, you know, like a high choking hazard. So for lunch, I am serving Ariella just some old bread, kind of a hoagie uh, baguette type of roll. So I'm going to use that up and put on this red roasted pepper hummus. Uh, we had been doing some peanut butter, but I just feel like it's loaded with lots of sugar and I just want to reduce that a little bit and mix it up with hummus and pestos and uh, guac, just different things like that that have some other great flavors in them. I did toast this a little bit, um, just a little bit, just to make it a little bit chewier for her um, to work on and be less of a choking hazard. Other foods we've given her are things like noodles, 
or she's had even just pieces of little pieces of meat or little carrots or I tend to make a lot of sweet potato sticks using just coconut oil and seasoning them with cinnamon, sometimes parmesan cheese. Um, so those are just kind of the staple items I always on, have on hand. A great rule of thumb is just make sure that the food if you're doing that stick form is as long as two fingers and as wide as those two fingers. For language development, I have asked Ari if she wants water and I use sign language just to indicate um, that choice for her. And we use these IKEA shot glasses. They're under $6 for like a set of, I think it was between 6 and 12. I really can't remember at the second. But she does so well drinking from this and she's even attempted to hold it herself, which is just wonderful to watch. And she has loved it. I've given up on the sippy cups because our oldest, the two-year-old, has chewed them all shut. I am so sick of sippy cups. So we're trying our best to try to introduce a cup early and not get into the clutch of a sippy cup. For dinner, I didn't get to record her, but we had kind of a hot pot um, Asian meal for her, and she loved that. So I picked up some shrimp because it had shrimp in it. However, I think she really liked the broth that was used for the hot pot, so she's not really digging this frozen shrimp that I bought. But maybe I'll try it with some flavors added to it. Well guys, that's going to be it for today's video all about what Ariella loves to eat on this particular day. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That means so much to me. And if you're new to here, definitely subscribe. I'd love to keep you around. And if you have any suggestions for baby led weaning food items, leave them in the comments below. I'd love to know if you have ideas that I could also feed Ari.